cars. There's Harris County deputies, Deer Park police, as well as emergency management. But we did see uh, crews going in on the other side of this highway. We saw them with fire trucks. And um, I don't know if you guys can see it from right here, but you can kind of see where the flames are going up into the air right behind those big uh, structures at that plant. And so uh, we actually got some really good video of it on our way down here. Um, but we have seen several crews out here from Harris County to Deer Park assisting with this fire. And at least we see uh, some progress there with some white smoke. You know, 30 minutes ago was all very, very dense, thick black uh, plumes. And we see some white smoke behind you, Rochelle. Uh, we know the immediate concern is to knock this fire out. But in terms of air quality, because if you live in this area, you are wondering, am I safe? Is my family safe? Do you, what does it smell like there? Can you pick up on anything? So right now, it's not much of a smell in the air. We thought we smelled sulfur on the way down here, but now it, it's kind of disappeared or kind of went away. We're not exactly sure what is blowing in the air, um, but it is, you can tell it's a bit of a haze in the sky and it's the heat, the heat that we're experiencing today is making it much hotter from those flames and the smoke. So I would caution people to, if you are in this area, to stay inside until we learn more about what is being released in the air, what is burning off, just to be on the safe side. But for now, me and my photographer, we are doing okay. We don't smell anything. It's no burning, you know, nothing feels strange. It's just really hot and it's really loud from this facility. I know you guys probably can't hear, but it's extremely loud and the smoke, I don't see much as a, a, a white smoke. I see more of a of black smoke. And right now I'm trying to see if I see any type of water or treatment being sprayed into the air from where we're at to try to get the, the smoke and some of the flames under control. You can certainly hear it, but from where we're standing, not so much uh, see it. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's making its way into the air. It's really black, really thick smoke. Um, but right now, we don't know what kind of chemicals are, are being released into the air um, or how this may affect people who are driving or standing out here. But we are, I will say, we are in a safe spot where we are, are not being harmed by this, by this, by this fire. Okay, Rochelle, uh, Shell is confirming that it is their refinery that's on fire right now, so we do know that. We're learning new information minute by minute, it seems. From, our, uh, from what we are seeing from Sky 2, Rochelle, we see the flames, but it doesn't look like you can see it from the side of the, the freeway. Is that where you're seeing? Can you, can you see flames there? Let's see. So I'm going to have photojournalist Vladimir Moquette oh, yeah. try to try to zoom in that. right there behind uh, this circular type structure. You can see some of the active flames uh, that's still going on. So um, we did see crews on the other side trying to get there, trying to get to that fire. But yes, we do see some type of flames coming from a small or a large structure behind the, uh, the, the infirmary. All right, Rochelle Turner right. reporting. It, it, Go ahead, no, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. No, you guys are fine. I was just saying uh, right now it's it's like a waiting game. Like you said, we're getting new information by the minute and um, I'm constantly checking in uh, with the serve uh, the uh, sheriff's office and emergency management officials trying to see what the newest information is. And as soon as we get that information, I will be sure to let you guys know. But right now, I can tell you that several crews are out here trying to battle this large fire. There's thick smoke in, in the air. So we'll be sure to keep you posted as soon as we get any new information. Lisa, Candace. Yeah, we appreciate you being out there as we wait to, to hear what exactly is burning, what the status of the air quality is. Uh, again, Rochelle Turner live there in Deer Park uh, in front of that, or across the freeway from that uh, Shell refinery that is on fire right now. You can see the plumes of smoke in this um, Transstar shot 225 here at East Boulevard. And as you saw in Rochelle's uh, 
live shot. The black plumes of smoke, at least a, a fraction of that looks to be a little bit lighter, which means they're getting a lot of water on this and making some progress, but clearly a lot more work to be done. Yeah, it's unclear again what caused this explosion. We do know it's at the Shell refinery that's been confirmed. Can you imagine driving this way and seeing all this black smoke right. in the in the sky, right. not knowing what's going on if you live in this area yeah. or possibly know someone who works in this refinery area? Right. A, a so lot of concerns. It's here. always a 